Hi guys, welcome to the Nail Team YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like and leave any comments below if you want to. Thanks very much, bye. Hey again, so this one we're gonna do another ombre but this time using a matte acrylic and then a glitter. So again, I'm gonna start with my matte acrylic and same as the last video guys, if you want to start this at the tip and then put your glitter at the top, that's fine. Whatever you prefer or whatever your client wants. So nice wet bead on and then blend down, keeping that brush angle nice and flat. And then for your glitter, you're going to dip into your clear acrylic, just picking up a small bead and then into your glitter. And we apply glitter in a tapping method. So you can see I'm just tapping that brush up and down to get it into place. You can brush it a little bit but it is definitely more of a tapping method. And then using that tip of that brush to tap that glitter where I want it so that I create a nice ombre into that silver glitter. So the black acrylic was NSI's Basic Black and then this glitter is NSI's Secrets, I think it's called Glow and it is really a beautiful silvery almost champagne glitter. Once you're happy with your ombre, your blend, then you can cap that whole design with your clear acrylic so that you know you're not going to be filing your black and you're not going to be filing your glitter either. Now I'm using NSI's Crystal Clear. NSI do have two clears, Totally Clear and Crystal Clear. Totally Clear does give a slightly misty finish. It's not completely see-through, whereas Crystal Clear is lovely and crisp and clear so definitely the better one and it is a little bit slower setting so if you need that bit of extra time to build or to encapsulate or to be able to pinch crystal clear is definitely the better out of the two so i'm capping that whole nail making sure that i've got it all on there and i've got nothing missing but again if you were doing this on a client you would put an apex in at this time you want to make sure that all that glitter's turned matte. If it hasn't, then you haven't put enough clear on. So just move it in the light to make sure that you've covered that whole nail. Once that's finished, again, you're going to file that clear acrylic just to smooth. And then white block or buffer, get rid of your dust. And then I'm going to gel top coat. Another basic ombre, basic acrylic ombre that you can then go on to maybe do some extra work on top if you want or you can leave it as it is. You can then create this nail as a French design. It's up to you. 